So hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about function declaration. This is really how we create functions um, while the code is running. Um, so what I mean by this is that in Reckon there's a construct called a lambda that is used to create a function um, and something that is different in other languages. So usually in other languages you give a name to a function, you say this is function f uh, like the sign function and then you do something in the body of the function but here this is known as an anonymous function so a lambda is not giving a name it's just giving you the what a function is uh, computing um, and then the only thing we need to do is um, just define the parameters and then in the body of the lambda you can it's basically the code that is has access to those uh, parameters so parameters could be zero or more and the body and we'll see when you might be wondering why would I even want a function with zero parameters we will see why uh, we'll have some examples of that uh, and then the body is what you would expect in the function body so in this case we see we say that it's terms and you have to write at least one so if it is terms we can do we can define variables inside of this. That would be why we're saying terms and not expressions. Uh, so here's an example of um, a function that we are defining. So we're using a variable declaration and we're binding to that variable declaration um, a function that we create with a lambda. So we, call, so we declare a function that has one parameter radius and then what it does is two times pi times radius. And then we can call it as you would call any function, like we saw calling uh, addition or subtraction. So you, the first thing we write is the name of the function. And then we pass an argument. In this case, there's only one parameter, so we have to pass one argument. So I have an example here where I even went ahead and I abstracted away pi with a variable. So you can see here that pi is 3.14159. Um, and if I write this, uh, actually, let me write it exactly like it is in the like is in the slide. So if I write circumference of two, I see twelve point five six six three six, which is exactly what we see here in the slides. So this is fine. This is working as expected. Um, so now what I would like us to think is what, I what is happening behind the scenes when you're running uh, the function, the various steps of evaluation. So the first thing we know is that to be able to call a function, so we're going to do the first step here, um, we're going to evaluate left to right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to evaluate a function and then we're going to evaluate its arguments. So we know that is this ready to evaluate and before we we're saying yes because we're kind of ignoring how we were ignoring how functions are actually computed but now we can go uh, further and actually talk about how functions uh, operate so the way functions operate is by um, this is just a variable so if it's a variable we can look up it's uh, how it was defined and we know that because we can just copy paste this lambda so we copy paste the lambda, paste it here. And for the sake of clarity, I'm just going to move the argument below. Okay. And you can see I have the, the lambda as is. I just copy pasted it and then I have the argument. So now um, are all things ready to evaluate? Let's see. So this is a lambda. So it's a function declaration. And you will see that a, a function declaration is a value. So it is ready to evaluate. And is 2 a value? Yes, it is a value because it's a literal number. Okay, so in that case, we're ready to evaluate. So what do you think will happen? So this would be step 1. Okay, so step 2 is as follows. So what we do is we take 2 and we're going to replace everywhere you see radius. You're going to replace it by 2. Okay, so we're going to remove we're just left with the body of the lambda and then we're going to see we're going to find radius and we're going to replace it by 2 
Okay, so this is step two. Okay, so we're in step two, the only thing we do is we find and replace all parameters by their arguments. And we're left with the function body, in this case, the lambda that we declared. Step three, what should we do? Is this ready to evaluate? Let's ignore for the remainder of the algorithm, of the um, exercise, what is um, the evaluation of star, of multiplication. So let's assume there's something that we don't go through. We don't do the find and replace thing because we don't have access to the how multiplication is really implemented. So you may be wondering, is this ready to evaluate? So how do we know? Well, we g so if this, let's assume multiplication is ready, is always ready. So let's look at the arguments. So the first argument is a two, is that ready? Yes, it is because it's a literal number. And then is pi ready? And the answer should be no. It's not ready because it's a variable and variables are expressions and they need to be evaluated. So how do we evaluate them? We replace them by the value that they were assigned to. So in this case, we need to do replace pi by 3.14159. This would be step three. And then finally, two is ready. So everything is ready. We can finally apply. And I don't know this by heart. Oh, actually, I do know, because it's right here. So the final step would be this. And as you can see, every step has the same value. So everything is fine, or should be fine. OK, so we basically we learn what is a function declaration, or how you create functions in Racket. Um, and we've learned that functions have variables and terms inside of them. We haven't seen where they show up in the language. We'll see that next. Uh, but we also saw a bit how we could evaluate a function. And the example I gave you was not exactly this, but this is very close. In the next video, we're going to cover function definition.